Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today I'm going to show you how to hide or style the category bar on your Squarespace stores. Um, make sure to click subscribe if you like these videos and let's dive in. So set up a general like basic templatized store here. I have a couple of them because I'm going to show a couple things. Um, first, going to jump into my CSS panel and paste this over. This piece of CSS will hide the bar completely. So if that's all you're looking to do, bam, copy this from the video description or from the post itself, you're done. Um, I'll get rid of that for now and then we'll dive into some of the styling. So as usual, <clears throat> I'll copy this over and uh, it'll probably look funky and we can fix it. So first thing I like to do, this one is going to be our styling for the top category bar. So get this all in here. Sometimes with this, it does sometimes take a second to take and then sometimes you even need to refresh the page. So just keep that in mind as you're styling. But as always, you can adjust anything in here. So like we wanted the font size to be bigger, padding to be larger, whatever. You can always adjust anything in there. So I like to do kind of this like floating box with a slightly rounded edge. I've added a drop. I'll add a drop shadow. I'll show you that. The next thing I want to do, though, is make this bar sticky. So before I pasted this in, the bar, actually, let me go back. This bar disappears at the top. If you want it to follow you, um, you can paste, you can put this in. You might need to adjust this value here, this top value, just depending on your header and, and any other type of thing. Um, next, I use a lot of dark backgrounds, so you're not going to see the drop shadow too, too much, but you can add a drop shadow if you want. I'm going to get rid of that one for now. And then this one's sometimes nice because these don't look like links. Um, and so you can add underline to the link, change the color to be something you know, kind of on brand. So all of this stuff only applies, I forgot to mention this, to the top category bar. It's more clear in the post. That all apply just to the top category bar. Let me actually put it all back in. So I have it here. And then if I also clicked over to my store two, it would be applying here. Let me edit this page. Go to format. We want the top category bar. Okay. Okay. I'm literally like, why is this not working? Because this one has no categories. So let's add some categories to this one. So this one's taking on everything that I am putting in the CSS. So what you can do is also just apply this to one page. So check out in the post, I have shown you how to find these section IDs. If you're not sure how to, you can use the inspect, right click inspect, or you can um, get this Google extension, which makes it way easier. But basically all you need to do is get that section ID and put it in front of each bit of CSS. So you can tell this top bar remains styled on my store one that I just targeted, but on store two, it's none of that styling has been applied. So you can easily apply any of the CSS to um, like one store or the other. Okay. Um, and then let's switch over to, I'm copying all this over, but let's switch over to the sidebar. So let's pop in, nope, wrong thing edit section, let's change it to sidebar. You can see there's no styling now. It's all removed because the selectors for the sidebar are different. So let me go into here and start back over. So this is very similar, like you'll just, I'll paste it in quickly. Um, on this one, I did throw in like a centering on the text alignment. I think it's kind of nice, but you can absolutely get rid of it, whatever you think works best. Um, Similarly here, making it sticky, so now it'll follow you as you scroll. You can add that drop shadow. I'm going to skip that step because I'm working with a dark background. You can't really see it. And then you could also add those underlines. So once again, very similar, just has different selectors with this one. So this one will only apply to this sidebar. Um, pretty simple stuff. Again, we would love if you subscribe if you like our videos, and we hope this is helpful.